Mark Lauder, Chief Communications Officer of the America First Policy Institute, joins us to break down what these trends mean. Mark, welcome back. That's great to see you. So this endorsement from Amir Ghalib uh, as mayor of Hamtramck City, sorry if, I've, if I'm mispronouncing that city, but he announces this on Facebook saying that he doesn't agree with everything uh, when it comes to Trump and his policies, but Trump is a man of principles. Break this down for us. Well, I think what we're seeing is Donald Trump breaking apart the Democrat crack coalition group by group by group. And what I think we're seeing is the end of group think, which is what the Democrat Party relies on. They expect you to vote for whoever they tell you to vote for because you check a demographic box, whether it's in your best interests or not. So whether it's when we see Donald Trump doubling and tripling his black support, when we see a double digit support in Hispanic voters, when we see the union voters coming out, and now with the mayor of this city and a Muslim majority city, I think we should just put it to rest the end of identity politics and realize people are smart yeah. enough to vote for who's in their best interest, who's going to lower gas and grocery prices, secure the border, deal with the wars that are raging. And in fact, what we saw in the Middle East under Donald Trump was historic peace with Israel and so many Muslim nations. And now because of what we've got going on, the mess that created by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, you have the Middle East teetering on the verge of war. Right. Actions and results versus um, slogans. And that's so powerful, actually, coming from you. You are a master you know, messaging guy. You sit and you look at the messaging that's coming out of both sides. And um, the point that the left seems to miss time and again is that when they tailor their message to certain categories of people, they tend to alienate the rest of America, because it looks like they're just the party of one group or another and not necessarily the whole of America, which is ironic. It's the very thing they're accusing Trump of doing, but in reality, his policies are are actually benefiting all of the country. In recent polls, Mark, um, Michigan is a tight state for Trump. He's within the margin of error with Harris. Harris slightly ahead there, according to some of the recent stuff that we're looking at. But Trump maintains a pretty solid lead in Pennsylvania. And I say solid because some of the states that we're looking, the polling that we're looking at, it's just, it, it seems fairly consistent. What do you make of that comparison between Pennsylvania and Michigan? Well, the one thing I can tell you right now, and this is what should scare Democrats, Kamala Harris is underperforming Joe Biden in the polls uh, by 5% nationally and 3%, 4% in the battleground states. And remember, regardless of what you think about the, how the, the 2020 election was conducted or how it was handled, the outcome was 43,000 votes in three states. If she's underperforming by three to four points in the battleground states, five points nationally behind where Joe Biden was, she's doing just about as badly, if not worse, than Hillary Clinton in 2016, it tells you that Donald Trump is winning this election. And then when you go to the underlying demographics of the polls and you see that Donald Trump has more than doubled his black support from 2020, 10% increase in support from the Hispanic community. When you see 60% of the Teamsters and you even hear the UAW saying, mm -hmm. no, we know most a lot of our members are going to be voting for Donald Trump. That's the Democrat coalition right. falling apart and it's Donald Trump winning. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.